All right, welcome to another episode of Modern Wong Chat, where I get to talk to my friends uh, from different industry, from everywhere around the world, about different things, you know, like where we come from, how we get to where we are. It's just, you know, a fun time, especially <clears throat> right now we are in quarantine. Uh, I get to hang out with friends, so this is a great way for me to socialize people. I'm going a bit crazy from quarantine. <laughs> Today we have uh, Vampy Bit Me. Uh, she's a great uh, streamer, a um, cosplayer, a Gundam enthusiast, uh, but she's a great human being, very bubbly overall, and I love her for everything that she does. Uh, you know, it's easier for her to explain herself, uh, but before I bring her on, uh, just make sure, you know, you can watch this live on Twitch, uh, Tuesday to Thursday, 7 p.m. Pacific time. Uh, you can watch this on YouTube or listen to it later on Spotify, iTunes, or any platforms that you use to listen to podcasts. Uh, we're also going to be doing some extra content for Patreon later, uh, but, you know, I'm still figuring that out. So we'll see how that goes. All right. Uh, let me go ahead and welcome the guest of the day. Today we have Vampy. Uh, hey, hi. Right. You are live now. You're great. Hi. <laughs> for some reason, you were frozen for a second. It's like, oh, maybe the internet has been going crazy though. Like, I think it's w worse for me right now because like. It's like multiple things, right? With the internet itself and then Twitch is acting weird. So it's just a bunch of different... I think so. Um, Stella actually has, has it way worse. She posts about it. Yeah. Yeah, I am down to... Like, I am at least still up some, you know, um, speed. But I think for Stella, she's down to less than one megabit per second before and then it was like unstreamable yeah yeah she is so <laughs> we should like right right you would think like being california one of the you know most advanced states of the country you think it would be better right but it's not <laughs> yeah and like even in back in like up in san jose i feel like it would be better too but it's not yeah, it's just really weird because you would think, oh, we are like Silicon Valley, so close to it. Everyone should have really advanced tech. And speak. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. Every time I drive, like back when I, before I moved down here, right? I would drive down here like once every few months. And I would be like, huh. Like, it feels different. It's like, I know I'm in the same state, but it feels like an alternative alternative universe where everything changed a little bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Do you like it better or worse? <laughs> uh huh. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah, I talk to there's a few people I talk to too that's talk about that because we are content creators and you know, slash whatever the industry calls influencers. So so it's it's strange when yeah, it's strange how some people act after they kind of recognize what you do or who you are. And that's a very... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We are also in multiple scenes, you know, like gaming, cosplay, and you, of course, toys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so I don't know much about the toy industry, you know, to be honest. I feel like it is, is it, I don't know, is it 
uh, so there's of course the creator side, but there's a fan side, and then there's the industry side. I'm not even sure how this operates. Um, yeah. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I have a friend who just got married and his wife is from China, but she's like in that scene where they do, uh, it, it's, uh, yeah, art, artists made toys. I feel like toy is such a weird way to say it because it's more like collectible. It's not like a transformer you buy from the store. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. There's a big one behind you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 I think it's like, it's like the difference between like beer you buy at the store and artisan beer <laughs> where they craft it, especially at like a brewery kind of thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. But it's so much harder to make too because you're not doing mass productions. So then you are only limited to make, you know, however you can or whatever the people want or a very limited supply kind of thing. Mm hmm. Mm hmm mm hmm mm hmm But that's difficult. That's the thing. Like, you're not riding on a franchise and people... Yeah. Yeah. That is like... Or... I feel like the same for drawing stuff too, like original design versus like, you know, fan art kind of things. Uh, same for songs, you know, doing covers versus, you know, writing your own songs. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I have, I have a quick question about the um the toy part because like for songs or art you can do fan art is that something that people can do or like like a franchise inspire type of toy kind of thing mm -hmm. yeah Because like uh, a lot of musicians on YouTube, I'm, I feel like for them to get um, popular or get like uh, some kind of people attraction, they would do cover of songs. So then people can look at their um, original songs. So they'll do a mix of both just to, you know, bring. Oh, definitely. Oh, yeah. 
I mean, that is how I am with my photos too. You know, like I, I, yeah. So I like shooting cosplay, and I like shooting a lot of things that、uh, majority of the audience enjoy a lot. But it's not definitely my favorite. You know, like some of my favorite would be surreal photography, or like、uh, even some of my landscapes.、Um, but they take a lot of time.、Um, Landscape for sure. You have to like travel somewhere and then set up a tripod and then try to get the sh- shot that you want.、Uh, I even sh- used to shoot journalistic photography, so I used to do that a lot. But it's not gonna, yeah. But it's not gonna get people really excited about, especially if you like people would like very、um, sensational photos. But then a lot of them are fake now because. You have to create the moment so people would like it. It's just like how back in the wars day, like people would like move bodies just to get award photos to look at certain way. Yeah. Oh yeah. So that was the thing. So it's it's different.、Uh, and it's strange too because some people find it、um, they're not used to it and they would feel、uh, find it uncomfortable because sometimes in order for me to get those very candid moments, I have to get my long lens from very far apart just to get them doing their thing. And it could be very genuine. <laughs> yeah, there's so many different ways to. Yeah. It's weird because I always feel like I don't know that much about photography or editing, or feel like it's very easy until I start teaching someone. Then I realize how much I do know. Yeah, yeah. Like I know all the shortcut key with my hands right now, even when I'm doing Photoshop. So I could just do it without looking and just keep going really quickly too. Hmm. Oh yeah. Do Do you know this artist by the name Art Germ? He draws. Oh yeah, Stanley. Yes. <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> I will let him know. Yeah, I'm trying to. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And you know, he's also he's from what Singapore.、Um, yeah. So we did a panel together in、uh, yeah last year in、uh, San Diego Comic Con. Yeah. Yeah. Divine Arts brought us out, and then we were on a panel. So I was sitting next to him, and it was great. And he also speak Cantonese, so we instantly bonded. Yeah. So every time I saw him, I talked to him. Yeah. Hmm. He is. Huh. Mhm. And he's he, but he's like at the next level. It's hilarious because we were on the panel, and some college kid were, was asking, like, um, they, um, they were asking, like, oh, how can I get started, you know, in doing art, you know, like making a living at art? Because Stanley, being Stanley, he was like, drop everything that you do, like basically that's what he said.、Like, drop everything you do, just go straight into it, start your own business, start your own company, and make art, because that's what he. <laughs> That's what he did because if and he's like because、uh, the first time he did it and he didn't like the company that he was part of and then he, then he's like he quit and he started his second company and make his own thing. I'm like I'm like in my head like Stanley like a college kid from out of the start of college couldn't do that you know, so it's it's just hilarious his mindset is already so far already. Yeah, oh yeah, it's definitely work for some people, but <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, uh huh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Hard work. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh no, yeah. Mm hmm. Like what I always say is that you have to be you have to be hardworking and you know good at what you do, but then you have to be ready when the opportunity arrive, and that's the thing. Yeah, and most of the time for me is that 
I, I feel like for, I mean, almost everyone I talked to on this, on this stream, on this show, we talk about how we were lucky in a sense that like, we didn't try to do this for a living at first. This wasn't a thing. Yeah. It, it's not even a thing at all. So we just really loved it. Yeah. And we still do. Yeah. And that's why we keep doing it. Yeah. <laughs> Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Uh -huh. And you just arrive with it. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yep. Mm hmm. Yep, yep, yep. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I love Elodia. <laughs> yes, I should. I'll, I'll, I'll message her about it. Yeah. I think it's okay over there, right? Like, she's in Philippines, right? Yeah. Computer, what's the time in Philippines? Sorry, what? I don't speak Philippine yet. No, I said the time. Computer, what is the time in Philippines right now? In Philippines, it's 10.25 a.m. Okay, that's not bad. It's 10.25, so it's 10 a.m. for them. Yeah, so it's morning time. It'd be like a good daytime show. <laughs> yeah, I'll let her know. She, yeah, she's, she and her sister, they're all just very creative and they do so, so many different things. Yeah. Yeah. And anything they pick up, it's like, oh, I can also play the piano, not a problem. Oh, I can draw. Oh, yeah, I can dance too. Like, what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, so think about it. It's like, oh, I guess that's a thing that I do. It's kind of like a hobby. <laughs> do you sleep? <laughs> Oh yeah, I have a completely horrible sleeping schedule right now. <laughs> yeah, 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 that happened. Like for me, it's crazy. So when I have conventions days, it's actually more normal because I used to go to conventions every other week. So I have to be normal because during convention day, I have to wake up at least by noon, you know, because uh, the event's going on. I have to go to the event. So every other weekend, I will fix my sleeping schedule. And even when I don't have conventions, I still have to do things. So it's more like a worst case scenario, I'll do uh, nocturnal, which is like I do stuff nighttime and then sleep eight hours. But now it's worse. It can be worse. Yeah, I didn't know. <laughs> yeah. It's like... Ah, uh, my sleep schedule now is really messed up. It's like, it'll be one day normal, second day half normal, and then third day not normal at all, and then fourth day not sleeping, and then fifth day back to normal. And it kind of like, shh, yeah. <laughs> uh. Mm-hmm, yeah. Most of my friends are introverts is because they're in the, yeah. So as an extrovert, I just collect them. So I adopt you. So I hear it, come with me. They're like, oh, okay. <laughs> no, yeah. Oh, so right now I'm just stuck inside. Like, haha, try not to go crazy. Oh yeah, I have a lot of friends like, this is great. I can get things done. I have no pressure to go outside. Like, and I, I know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No. For, for me, it's like convention every other weekend. And on top of that is um, like going seeing people. Yeah, I'm never home. I'm like the best housemate. Yeah. Yeah, I pay the most rent in this house and I'm never here. So it's great. 
<laughs> yep. Oh, my old place. I used to live in uh, downtown, a downtown loft in LA, downtown LA. Yeah. And I was paying so much rent for not being there. Such an expensive, like, <laughs> storage unit. Yeah. Yeah. It was very nice, though. I enjoyed it. So I'm glad I did it, but I don't need it anymore. <laughs> yes. Oh, pretty much. And it's kind of sucked, too. They all just, like, you know, stuck in in their own room, close to the door. I'm like, okay. Hi. I feel like, like, Anna, just, like, out, outside the doorknob saying, you want to come by and play? <laughs> like... <laughs> Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm mm -hmm. And that's how I get my housemate too. Food. I was like, hey, I'm gonna cook things when I come and get some food. They're like, oh, food. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep, they can smell it's like they're like, hmm, there's something. Then they'll come outside. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. And so, yeah, they are. Yep, I'm just kind of stuck inside, making sure that not go too crazy for a while. Because <laughs> there's no social pressure. Yeah. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. You have to prep for it, you know? Yeah. Like, to socialize, yeah. I, I don't. I'm like, anytime, it's like, hey, Martin, you want to come outside? Okay. I'm gone. I'll be there in 15 minutes. Yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That, that sounds like me. Yep, mm-hmm. Yeah, so I, I figured out that... It's ironic because like staying at home is should be more relaxed and resting. But I've learned that because you see me very energetic at conventions, apparently I recharge by seeing people. So now I'm actually very low energy because I'm not seeing people. So I get tired very easily. I am not. Yeah, I can't, you know, like I'm trying to work out to use it up. Yeah, it's so strange. Yeah, like I'm just like, Sad and sleeping in my bed at all the time. Oh. Dude, yesterday, th th I, I, I told Jessica this morning about this too, but it's not very depressing. But yesterday, I woke up at 1 p.m., but then I was still tired, and then I'm just like, ugh, not feeling it. So I went back to sleep so then I can oversleep. If I oversleep, I go to I dreams. I, I will have more dream. I'll be dreaming. And then I was dreaming I get to see friends, so I hang out with friends in my dream. <laughs> So it was a good time. <laughs> it's the most realistic way to hang out with friends. <laughs> oh. And like I have some inside jokes now with Johnny Junkers, but then he's, but that's just in my dream. It's not real him. So <laughs> he won't get it if I ever tell him in real life. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. What kind of nightmare do you have? It's like scary stuff. Ugh. Hmm. Oh. Okay. So it's like lucid dreams. But but you're not aware that you're in a dream? Can't you not force yourself to wake up? Oh, what? Okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> so those are lucid dreams, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You can train your like you don't have to because you already got it, but people have to train themselves to do that. Oh. Wow. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Wow. That that is pretty cool. That's only a few times I realized in a dream. 
my nightmares are different. My nightmare is that when I um like it's real life. It's not like scary stuff. It's real life, and it's more like I can't really control my emotion as much. Because I'm never angry. You never see me angry in real life. Like that's just not me. So like for example, I'm like really mad about something. That would be how my nightmares are. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Horror stuff. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yep. And then you watch them before going to sleep. <laughs> Uh huh. <laughs> You've been playing what Final Fantasy a, a lot recently, right? <laughs> yeah. Mhm. Mm you love Monster Hunter. You love it like every time I realize when we're talking with friends, and you'll if you find one person that do play Monster Hunter, like, hey, wanna play with me? Hey, let's go play. Mon yeah. <laughs> every time, yeah. <laughs> and some of those games where everyone's like, yeah, I'll play, but then they never do uh, with you. But then so you. So you keep finding like, come on, are you gonna play? Are you actually gonna play? Cause I play, come on. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> Do they have like weekly or monthly like mission and raid kind of stuff? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm hmm yep, all the time. They update every Tuesday. Oh, they have so- they have like, what, seven games coming out now? Yeah. Oh, they are, yeah. Yeah, because that costs money. Yeah. I mean, the whole- it's it's interesting how the gaming industry changed a lot the model the business model because 10 years ago if you tell companies that they will have to keep spending time and energy and efforts and resources into a game after it's out they'll be like you're crazy or if you tell them like you're going to make a game and it's going to going to be completely free like for riots all their games are completely free so how is that a business model yet they're like one of the biggest gaming company out there in the world yep Yep. <laughs> mm hmm <laughs> Yep. Mm hmm But you would, yeah. Mm hmm <laughs> Uh-huh. <laughs> you love buying things. I mean, last time I ran into you randomly, not like on purpose, it was actually you shopping. <laughs> We're in the mall, yeah. Yeah. I, I was just surprised that to run to you, but also like you're like all camera ready as well. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm hmm Presentable. <laughs> mm. Mm hmm Mm hmm I think it's presentable, right? It's more... Like, because sometimes it's not just about you. I was thinking about that today, too. And it's not just a um, way about yourself. It's also respecting the people that you see as well. You know? Yeah. Like. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's kind of like a hospitality thing, but like in person kind of thing. Where like, I am ready to meet you. Like, I am like, oh, ready to be prepared in case, you know, someone died. Say so, yeah. 
Mm. I can do makeup on people, but I can't do makeup on myself. Cause I no, cause if I have to make, I like like I I don't sometimes if I do photo shoots and I don't have a makeup artist on you know <clears throat> on set, then I have to do the makeup. It's not that hard. It's just Photoshop in real life. It's basically the same ideology, you know. It's just this real life material versus Photoshop. Yeah. Oh, definitely a bit harder because you can't really do erase tool. Like you have to think the process a little bit different. You have to think the layer process a bit more ahead of time, you know. Okay, sure. No, go ahead. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yep. Like, what do you mean when people tell me? Like, like... Mm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yes. So how do <laughs> So that's how I can differentiate between work and uh me liking photography as kind of like a hobby kind of thing. So if I get paid to do it, you're the boss. You can tell me whatever you want and I'll make it happen. You know, it's kind of like it's yours, you know, it's fine. And I will most likely not post it if I don't like it. So it's like, you can have it, do whatever you want, especially with lots of content these days are behind paywalls. So most people won't even see it anyway. So it's, it's whatever. And if people look at my profile, they can see I have very different styles and variety of styles too. But when it comes to my work, like, let's say it's a free shoot, especially if I ask the model to like, hey, uh, can we shoot? You know, that's in assumptions that when I ask someone, it's more like, I'm paying you, but it's not paying you money. It's like, hey, I'm the one who initiated and asking. So it's my shoes, my project. Do you want to be involved? And then that kind of thing. Then I can do whatever I want. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When someone asks me to shoot, you know, where they needed the photos, I'll do whatever they need for them if they're friends. You know, like, yeah, it's your thing. Go ahead. I, I agree to do it. That is my own, like, decision that I have. Like, okay, you, you can, I can create something for you, you know. But, oh, no. And here's the thing too. There is there is cases where I will ask models or cosplayer or it's, it's actually this is an interesting topic too. It's harder to shoot with influencer and cosplayer versus models when it comes to posting photos. Yeah, <laughs> because cosplayer and influencer has they want a certain look, they have a certain ego, they have a certain style that they want to really preserve. Okay, so, and me also have a falling is a problem to them now because that I mean my stuff will be seen as well. So let's say I take a picture of um, this uh, influencer girl, A, person A. Um, if she doesn't like it, she, she will be unhappy about it because then lots of people will see it and they will, they will still, and more people comment and they get even more upset about it because that's not how they want. I actually had cosplayer message me before. Uh, well, we, we weren't doing cosplay shoots it was just a, you know, uh, fashion kind of shoot, you know. I shot it, and then, of course, I spent like two hours editing it, you know. Of course, I, I like the photo. That's why I finished it and posted it. But then she messaged me and said, hey, you know, I didn't like it, and da 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 da, da. Can you take it down? You know, and I, I get it, but, you know, and of course, I wouldn't think it's not great. If it's not great, I wouldn't post it, you know. It represents my work as well. So I get it, but they're friends, and, you know, I want to be respectful as well. So technically, I don't have to. But again, I'm, I'm trying to be respectful. So I took it down. But that doesn't mean that I won't shoot with them again in the future, you know? Mm hmm. Yep, yeah, that does happen. Yeah. Yeah. I. But I spent hours and hours on my photos, especially on my portraits, you know? Like my normal portrait photos nowadays average around two to three hours, one photo. Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah. I've just made a post on Twitter, well, on Instagram story as well, but on Twitter, it's like, I zoom into my photos to very close detail. And I, so I am, so most people see me as a photographer and people not in the industry, they don't understand there's a difference between photographer and retoucher. I'm both. So I actually have edit, yeah, I've been editing photos longer than I've been taking photos. I've been editing photos for over 20 years. Photography only over 15. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yep. Mm hmm. Yep. <laughs> yep. Mm hmm. Yeah. Photograph like in the high end uh, industry, you uh, photography, the photographer and the editors are two different people. Yeah. The retoucher. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And in the rare case that like me, I am both. And the thing is, what's strange is that there was a, um, things CVS was trying to do. They were like, I understand the, the, the idea of it, but they were saying, oh, starting from 2000, I don't know, 21 or 20, I think they dropped the campaign, but like all of our products at our company has to be, or the store has to have no Photoshop on it other than light adjustment. Uh, if they do have it, they need to have a sticker or sign that say it's been Photoshop, you know? So when I first heard about it, it's like, okay, it sounds like a great approach, but I know it won't work because the problem is that humans are tend to be nicer and want to buy items that are with prettier people. That is something that ingrained in our, in our heads, uh, whatever the majority of people find uh, attractive. Mm -hmm. Yep, exactly. So then you're gonna have a problem. If they don't want to have Photoshop, you're actually gonna take out a lot of jobs of retoucher and you're gonna take out a lot of jobs of models who are not as pretty, meaning it's actually the worst. That means only really pretty model will be higher because It's majority. It's what majority is what will buy is people will buy, you know? And majority of people have a certain like a um aesthetic, yeah, yep, yeah, a um uh traditionally beauty. That's how they see it. Yeah, and of course they're very very different culture and country. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, they're everywhere. Yeah. It changes. Um. Yeah. Yeah. There's a problem about. I have a problem with cosplay. Is that because? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Everyone has a problem. My <laughs> multiple problems. <laughs> yep. My my main issue is that like we started in cosplay where it's not an industry, it's something we do for passion. And that's how I found first met you too. You were doing Lolita cosplay. Uh, uh-huh. Yeah, you were like, but you were wearing pink that day though. That one outfit. And that was like, that was like 10 years ago. Yeah, it's been a long time. Mm hmm. And I didn't know who you were too. It was my friend who introduced me. It was like, oh yeah, this is um, <clears throat> Vampy Linda. I was like, cool. I don't know who you were, but like, oh, I, I actually took a picture of your shoes, I remember, because those shoes were very pretty. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But that was that was uh, how I first met you. Like, and you were really bubbly already. I was like, oh, she was nice, cool. <laughs> mm hmm. Yeah, environment. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. So is so that was that was great. But uh, what were we talking about? <laughs> oh, cosplay, cosplay. Yes. Yeah, the problem with cosplay now that that has turned into an industry is that it's great, but we're so young industry, so we don't know how to do things yet, you know? Uh, yeah. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Has it never not been? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm hmm. But people get confused if you don't do one thing, you know? Because we do multiple things, and whenever I do anything that's not photography, they're like, what is this? I'm like, it's photo Even in photography alone, they get confused when I don't do cosplay photos. Like if I post products or uh, landscape or surreal, they're like, wow, it does not. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bring dress up. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And. Mm hmm. The, the fame is a byproduct. Like, we, we did it because, like, we really liked it. And we did it before it was even can be popular. You can't make money. You can't be popular back then. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, I remember even having a Facebook page was really frowned upon. That I, oh, you think you're so cool? You think you have, you know, you want people to follow you? And now it's like a normal thing. Now it's so normal. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Netizen. Mm hmm What's different is that um, I was talking to a younger generation of cosplayers that are coming in now uh, just to see what the scene is like and what it's like in school now. And the kid... <laughs> yeah. Uh, I go to... A, I go outside all the time, so... I And I'm curious because I want to know what it's like and I want to know how this industry is moving forward. And um, the kids who are, so people who get into cosplay, a lot of them get in because they see people like us and they're like, oh, I want to be like that. I want to be popular and famous and has a, has a following and a start. Yeah. Yeah. And we, we make it look very fun and that's part of our job. And sometimes they don't get it. Yeah. And a lot of them is uh, they're popular now in school are not just a jock or like the football kids or whatever. It's the people who have a social media following, like big on TikTok or big on Instagram, which kind of changed the landscape a little bit too. So I'm not sure how is that like, like people will go toward to someone who's like, oh, wow, that girl is very popular on TikTok or internet or on Instagram. Then that is the popular kid in school now. So I wonder if that's going to change how bullying is going to happen too, because bullying is going to happen regardless, like people get picked on. But it's not going to be nerdy kids anymore because nerdy kids are getting popular now. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm, yep. Yeah, mm -hmm, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but you watch them come back every year and it's like, oh, my gosh, you're so tall now. I was like, what happened, you know?
Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 All the comics. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, and it finally happening. Yeah. I think they're angry because they feel like they have did their time in jail. Kind of feel like it's like I mean, like not popular jail, and everyone, yeah, oh, it's such an entitlement thing. Yeah. They feel like everyone else should have to go through that, but that should not be the case. That's the whole point of this. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm hmm. And it was so not cool. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And now that's like. Not what everyone really wants, like an e-girl or something, a nerdy girl. <laughs> then you have to, yeah, exactly. You have to stop for a second. It's like, am I one? I, I mean, I guess. Like, I don't know. Like, like in your head, it's like, is it a bad thing or is it a good thing? Like, I don't even know. Yeah. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. But we don't know. It's like, okay, this is like something I makes sense for me to associate with. Like, it's just kind of strange. Like, mm -hmm. mm hmm. Nope. Mm hmm. You. I'm very real too. Yeah. And you're very real too. Like every time I talk to you and in public in like privates whatever like things that you don't like you don't agree you'll say oh yeah no no i don't like that like you would just say it and it's amazing and i think it takes us time and like experience to able to actually say that now like And yeah, and and we will look back someday and you know, we're old enough to know that when we look back, it's like, oh, I have done all this stuff and it was for me, you know, it wasn't for someone else. And that is a good feeling to be like, oh, I've done all this, you know, and there's something that I can show, not even showing to others, but show to myself to like, oh, this is what I've done. And because I enjoyed it at a certain point in time, I really liked it.
<laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> And we couldn't, like, back in the days, we can't stream anime. Like, we have to go either get VHS or something. It's not easy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, that's why you join anime club or whatever, and they would all just chip in and get something. Yeah, you trade it, and then you just all watch it during lunch, you know? Yeah. Mm. Mm hmm. Yep. Yep. Hopefully. And then they'll send you something. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's lots of money for kids, you know? Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. You know, to go one step deeper too, um, I think it's not just anime. For me specifically, uh, it's also being Asian. Like, growing up being Asian is not cool at all. I mean, it's still not cool. I was talking to Jimmy about this. Yeah, in America, growing up as an Asian person, you know, especially guy. Like, no, because I was talking to Jimmy about this too. Like, it was not cool at all. And now it's like, it's not cool, but it's better, especially with the help of K-pop. And here's like, I'm not going to be mad when someone who's starting to like Asian related things now, because like, no, please, like, send me with the nerd culture. No, like the people get confused. They don't understand the difference between different Asian. I'll just take it. I'm like, it's cool. You know what? I you don't know the difference between Japanese, Vietnamese, Korean, uh, whatever Japan. Like ev everyone, I'm like, no, it's fine. Yeah. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm yeah. So same for the nerd thing. It's like, like it wasn't cool, and now people would like it. I wouldn't be like, oh, you never know how horrible it is. You should have to suffer as well. So, no, like please like what we like, so then we can share what we love to you guys as well. You know. Mm hmm. <laughs> that happens. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> Apparently. Huh. How dare you? <laughs> Mm hmm mm hmm And if you travel anywhere more inland in America, it's still very much like that. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Yeah. Mm hmm Yep. Yeah, it, it's it's I was at a uh party at uh CES, you know, one of those 
rich white old CEO party because <laughs> they're all old rich white old CEO guys. Like apparently so. Not that I'm trying to say that it should be, but like that how it was exactly it was. It was exactly how it was. If it, it wasn't all of them, I was the only Asian there, I think. And then yeah, almost at certain points, everyone in the room has passed me and asked me, so where are you from? <laughs> and I never know where what answer am I supposed to give them? Like, um, Los Angeles? Oh, I'm from SF before this. Oh, I went to school in UC Davis until a certain point. They're like, okay, I know what you're asking. Like, do I tell them like, oh, I'm from Hong Kong, you know? Yeah, no, no, I have no problem with them actually. I, I, have, I have no problem with people being curious and want to learn about it. In fact, I want them to more learn about it and accept, you know, what I have, what, what, I'm, what I'm come from, my culture, all kinds of stuff. It's only weird when they find it like, they can't accept you be a certain thing, but also the other thing at the same time, you know, especially me doing, you know, what I am in my culture, also as a content creator, you know, it. it. Mm -hmm. mm, yep. Mm, 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 mm. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, it was not cool. It was so not cool. <laughs> I mean, even my favorite anime growing up is Dragon Ball Z. And for Goku to become stronger, he turned blonde and get blue eyes. <laughs> so I'm like, I guess I'll never become like that. <laughs> mm hmm. Yeah, and he has to, yeah, he has to use that in order to get into Hollywood to get like, even like for now, it's, we're still not completely there yet with uh, Donnie Yen. Like, he still has to play a Kung Fu character in Star Wars. Like, you know, he was supposed to be even more Kung Fu-y, but like he's able to talk to, you know, JJ. Mm hmm Oh, yeah. Yep. Mm hmm <laughs> But every Asian chick has a one strip of purple hair or something, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm hmm Like in, in Lego, in like the Lego movie, in like um, Big Hero 6, you know, if you're Asian, you have to one strip of purple hair or something. Mm hmm. <laughs> mm hmm. What about people that pick up and cause like Kenson, my housemate, our friends, uh, talk about this a lot. What do you, how, what, how you feel about people picking up like an Asian sounding name, especially Japanese, you know, that happens a lot. <laughs> uh huh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm <laughs> Mm-hmm. Mm hmm Oh, that happens a lot. Yeah. And it's weird when you try to be something that is not traditionally popular, too.
There's a lot of Yoko I have met. <laughs> a lot of people I've met call Yoko and like your name is not Yoko. Because like, I know for sure. <laughs> Mm. Mm hmm. Want to be. Yeah, you want to be. Mm hmm. It is very strange. Um, like, I, I don't mind them wanting to do more stuff that involves my race or my culture as long as they don't insult it. You know, if they genuinely learn about it, you know, incorporate into life. Sure. Why not? I I'm all for it. Uh, Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. Comic, but... Mm hmm Yeah. It's weird they use it to be for coolness. It's really strange. I'm like, man, I've been berated like my whole life because of this. And now it's you use it to, for you to become popular, which is like, this is so backward. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think it's just more it's backward and I'm just like, I, I but it, I think it's part of the process for us to be all more become equal. Yeah, no, 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 just, yeah. But I'm just saying, like, I think this is the process of for anything to become popular, or uh, not popular, to be normalized, you know? It's like a little uh, pendulum thing, right? At first, it'd be, like, too extreme where people are against it, they're racist against it, but then it's like, no, 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 this has to be cool. So then we bring it all the way to this side. And I think that's the same with any movement, right? Same with LGBT movements, same for the race, same for, you know, uh, nerd culture, is that it, it was so uncool that we have to overemphasize it to make it very cool, which is kind of strange in a way, but then eventually we'll bring it back to, like, no, no, you're cool, you're not, this is not, this doesn't make you... So, so this is a funny uh, line that I saw the other day. And when I say the other day, it could be like a few weeks ago or a few months ago, or even a few years. But it was like, people were saying that you can't play the, um, I was bully or pick on in high school at a convention because everyone go to convention has been picked on. That's the reason why we're here, you know? Like now it's more popular, but let's say five years ago where it's still not cool to go to convention and you go to conventions and acting like, oh no, I get picked on all the time when I was younger, please pity me. And you're like, no, we all got picked on. Like, doesn't make you any special. Yeah. <laughs> Why do you think we're here? <laughs> yeah. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's a shame, you know, that's a, like, you know, be liking something and have to be ashamed of it, man. Mm hmm Gothic stuff. Mm hmm Mm hmm Mm hmm
Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it was so uncool. Yeah. And you have to hide about it most of the time. Yeah. Mm hmm. Like, sometimes I wonder if we can live a different lifetime just to see how it's like to be at that age again and being cool about liking those things. I, I, mm hmm. <laughs> mm hmm. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It is strange because I remember back in school, too, like, I, because I was younger, I was a kid, you know, again, I was 11, uh, 12, around that age. Um, like, <sighs> I, I am mad at those people who pick on me and also, you know, racist against me, you know, those kids in school, you know. Um, but if any day you ask me if I can switch spot with them back in the days, I was like, yes, like any day. Yeah. Yeah. And I remember how much I hated America because of how bad it was. You know, I thought about coming to America, get my education and get the F out instantly uh, when I'm done. Mm hmm. <laughs> but here's the problem we're too american too we're not like yep for uh, me i'm yep mm -hmm. yep i'm yeah mm -hmm. oh i'm stuck in that weird spot i am a 1.5 generation immigrant so meaning i am i came to america in my teens years so i'm for my culture, my language, everything, I'm half half. You know, I'm too Asian for American and too American for Asian. Oh yes, yeah, rare. It's not yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm hmm It's a very lonely life though. You don't you don't want this. <laughs> it's very lonely life. Like mm-hmm. 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 No. Well, it's just a thing too, because they have the same again, it's very similar to nerd culture. We they will feel like that you didn't go through the same hardship that you have to being isolated because they're being too Asian. So they feel like you don't understand their culture enough to be part of their groupie. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yep. Like, I don't think. I don't think my friends realize until I pointed it out to them is that in their friend circle, I'm most likely like a few, if not only a friend in their friend circle that's from actually an immigrant from another country that speak a different language and read and write in that language. You have a lot of American born Asian, uh, American born Chinese, ABC, and yeah, all of those. Um, but for someone who like me, who still have an accent, who speak a different language and read and write, in a different language. I still, I was just watching Hong Kong news like 12 hours ago and that's something I still do. 
So it's something that hopefully, but it's, it's still kind of weird again, too Asian to be American, too American to be Asian. So like, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's why Ken sense the weird flip of me, you know? He is American born, but he actually enjoyed the Asian culture. So he's growing up wanting to learn more about Asian Chinese culture. So it's a weird in and yang kind of situation, you know? Yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. <laughs> He's in chat right now. <laughs> Actually, I just saw him. He's just uh, responding in chat. He's uh, in uh, watching this right now. I told him earlier too. I was like, "Hey, Kenson, you know you should uh, watch the show because uh, Linda's gonna be on this episode. It'd be fun." Uh, Mm hmm It also changed the way you think because we think based on the language. So there's lots of ideology and uh, even mannerism. My uh, cooks should change. No, my mannerism change a lot when I'm thinking and talking in Chinese. Like even how I treat people with different uh, like elders and like, you know, that kind of thing is very different. I have to be much more respectful because that's just how I am taught. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm, yep. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Not taking the last piece of last piece of the food, you know. <laughs> mm hmm Yeah. Can't be too well. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. Oh, yeah, no. Mm -hmm. But it's also coming from a weird sense. I, I enjoy it, but American might not. It's the, the type of discipline, like the way that I straight, how, the kind of like, I don't know, like it, it's also very similar to being an artist, you know, like we'll never fully be satisfied. There's moments that you'll be like, oh, this is cool. But instantly you have to go back to like, okay, I need to be better and, you know, work hard on it. I enjoy it though. Mm hmm You never do. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, we I Mm hmm Yeah. <laughs> we shouldn't. Like being fully happy is such a strange idea. <laughs> Wait, I, I feel like back then, especially back then, if some people say bad thing about weird rumors or idea, that means we did something right. It's kind of like if the Westboro church pick at your funeral, I mean, you did something right. That's how I see it. Mm -hmm. It's also a thing that helped them justify it because like, I, again, we both, you know, accidentally got some falling because of, you know, cosplay and stuff like that. Um, yeah. And then people who didn't get it because, you know, hard work or luck or whatever, that made it didn't happen for them. They feel like it has to be justified that they has to be a horrible person in order to them feel like, yeah, that's why they got that because they're a horrible person. I'm not a horrible person. That's why I don't have that, you know? But that's how they think. Mm, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, mm -hmm. I go to convention every other week. Of course it's supposed to look really fun. Free travel, do all this stuff, yeah. 
Mhm. 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 And I explained to you, it's kind of like a movie too. It's like it's like fictional movie. They're not real, but they're still enjoyable content. That's what it's supposed to be. Like there's days and nights that I don't want to do photos. I don't want to edit. I just want to play games or relax. But I don't. I can't because I know I need to push this out so that people will see it. You know. I remember going to your conventions back then. It doesn't happen anymore because cosplay photographer is kind of dead. Being the days for cosplay photographers are dead. It's it's ridiculous. Yeah, always definitely. I made like a whole video about this too, but like yeah, it's just like it's 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 over now. It's because of smartphones, you know. It's it's both because how people consume content and create content. They both kind of made it change it completely. Yeah. So so yeah. So I remember back then though, like let's say around 2010, you know, I would have to like 10 years ago, I would go to conventions. And once I on Sunday night, sun, like because you go to con from Friday to Sunday, Sunday afternoon once I get home, yeah, I would go home instantly. Let's say from Fanime, I would drive home instantly and start editing photos as many as I can, and deciding <laughs> maybe yeah, we have they are yeah. I mean that's how Silicon Valley happens yeah. It, and things are so far apart. Yeah. Mm hmm. What else? <laughs> and everyone else is doing it. So you have to do it too. Yeah. Yep. Mm hmm. Do a museum or whatever. There's always some pop up. Yeah. And your friends feel so far apart, you know? Like distant wise is distant wise is further, but time wise it's the same because of driving. Um, there are things that I like, but I but the things that I don't feel like I'm fully belong here either because like I'm not from here from LA area. Like I don't have that circle yet. I don't know. I'm, I'm still so new. I'm like I want to do things. I want to like go to check cool like go to a museum that I haven't been to like the board. I still haven't been there yet, or like go to Griffin Park to look at like. Uh, you know, look at the city at night. Yeah, exactly. Well, technically, what they're gonna do? They can't come near me to arrest me. So, <laughs> what if I break in? Huh? <laughs> That's only if they catch me. <laughs> yeah, like they have to be six feet near me. So technically, they can't talk to me. I am thinking about maybe tomorrow. No, maybe no, because tomorrow I'm just doing a show. So maybe on Friday, I might drive around downtown with my long uh, selfie stick with a 360 camera. Let's see. This is my. Yeah. So it's with this. See this stick? Da, 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 da. It's one selfie stick. It's still going. See this? Yeah. It's, it's extremely long. Yep. I bring it to convention too, and then like I get like a lot of weird look. Yeah, <laughs> smile. And they all think I'm using a drone because it looks like a drone shot. But I just posted today too. I'm not sure you saw. It's like a um, kind of like you have to spin and then go up. So I was working on that too. So it's 360 because you don't have to spin. You can spin afterwards. You. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. No, it wasn't. People think it's a drone. It's not. It's just a camera, a 360 camera on a stick. And so I'm not violating any rules about I can fly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's right here. So this is a, that's how big it is. That's it. Yeah. And because it's 360, so you actually shoot, then aim instead of aim, point and shoot. It's shoot and point because you can point anywhere afterwards. It's. It's interesting. It's interesting. So it, it's, it's fun. So I might try it so then it would look like a drone shot of me driving downtown. Uh, uh, or maybe on Friday when I'm not doing my show, but I'm not sure I, would, I need to try to like have a stick while I'm driving. We have to if you go outside, we see people. Yeah. I've, 
But if I'm inside my car, I should be fine, right? Like, if anything, my car should be the most contained area and six feet away from anyone. Because if anyone six feet near me, I might hit them. <laughs> so. Yeah. And, like, w this is something going to be in textbook for sure. Like, all the... All the terminology that we have now, it's like, it's like, it's like listening to grandpa talk about the war days. Like we were talking about, like, oh, social distancing or like, you know, um, quarantine. Like those words sounds like when we, when old people talk about like, oh yeah, nuclear apocalypse. Like, you know, we're gonna, my uncle, my uncle did. So someone actually, I know in real life, you know, cause it's always something sounds like I know someone off someone's like winning the lottery. It's like, oh, I think I yeah, but it's never someone you actually know, you know. But now I should know someone who did. And then I was actually checking in my cousin a few weeks ago. I mean, he's recovering, so it's good. But I was checking in on my cousin a few weeks ago. And I was like, hey, how's everything going? Because, you know, we're family. I want to make sure. And she wasn't sure if she wanted to tell me too. Because the reason is because I feel we all feel like at least her dad doesn't want people to know because we're Asian. <laughs> so we don't want people to worry. So, you know, of course, if things doesn't go well, we don't want people to worry. So... So she. Mm hmm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. If like I I was saying earlier too, like if the virus doesn't kill me, racism could. <laughs> like at least we're in L.A., but if I am in any other places in America, I feel like I would get stabbed. It's like nine eleven all over again. I remember. Yeah, I remember during nine eleven, like lots of uh Middle Eastern people they have to like put more American flags out to show that like, oh, we're not, you know, a terrorist. And it's, it's such a strange concept and now it's on us now. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh yeah, like I, uh, I can't wait. As I said, this as jokingly, but seriously too, is that I can't wait when we're all equal. That sounds very wholesome, but that's not it. So I just, so I just want to tell people that they're an asshole because of what they did, because of their actions, not the color of their skin. You know, yeah, I. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I try not to. Yeah, no, I, I want to feel like everything that I did well, because it's good, right? Because if I take it on myself, that I mean, if I did horribly, it's my own fault. But if I also succeed, it's my own doing, you know? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Yep. Like, even among, like, um, the same, let's say, white American, not every one of them going to be successful either, you know? So, same for you as an Asian, same as if you're black or whatever ethnicity you are or race, you know? It's easy to move your blame to something else, you know? It negates your hard working. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. And if it, 
if anything, especially in the internet culture now, I don't, I never blame content creator for what they are to do what they do. It's mostly the fans, you know, it's, it's a lot of it's based on, so like, you know, people would be like, oh, you are very popular right now because you are a girl, you know, um, that's why people like you. But I'm like, that, first of all, she does, they don't get to decide if you're a girl or guy, you know, that's kind of like how you were. But also like, if anything, you blame the fans. It's the same, it's American. This is such a democratic idea that people should be embracing how great it is. The, um, let's say people don't like Trump, okay? But Trump hasn't really changed. He's just real to himself. He's been very real. I thought that's what you wanted. If anything, you have problem with other people who wanting him, you know, is your neighbor that doesn't have the same ideologies to you and same for content creator. Uh, those content creator has been doing what they've been doing. And it's just, the, that's what fans want. If you want to change people, you don't attack the content creator. You attack the P, you, know, not attack, you, you change how people see and you want how people understand your viewpoint as much. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm Oh, we've been in for a long, long time. Yeah, we've seen the changes. Yeah. Mm hmm N None of us, none of this is given. None of this was handed. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm and, and this is both me using it to pave my, how I got, uh, Oh yeah, exactly. So here's what I do in the cosplay scene that is a way that paved my way forward to where I am now, but also for me to pay, give back at the same time, which is interesting because who I am kind of changed what that become, you know? Um, it's the same as, you know, like paying for like a service, you know, back then it's like you paying it because you want to support it uh, or like you want to get in it. Like you want to, oh, I want to enjoy the service. But now it could be like you paying it because you want to give back. And that's how I made a cosplay photo. When I go to conventions, if I you know did a photo shoot with you and I, I don't do booking, I just find someone and I like, oh I like this and say like, I'm gonna do a shoot with you. And after the shoot, uh if I'm after the after it's done, you can have the photo for print for free. I don't care. I for me it was always like do whatever you want. You know, I, I enjoy shooting with you. That was fun. If you want to use this print, you wanna make money, that's up to you. That's all you. Do whatever you want. Um Cosplay were was very surprised in the beginning when I did that. Uh yeah, they were just like, wow, you just Martin just sent me the full rest photo and just let me use prints without asking any question. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. Yep. There, there's no way to make money anyway. <laughs> yeah. Cool. That's fun. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. And now I still do it and people were, are like, wow, that's very nice. And I'm like, I mean, to them, it's kind of like a give back as well. More like, you know, I want to help you to do whatever you wanted to do. Uh, mm hmm. Mm hmm. I do that all the time too. Yeah. <laughs> I do that a lot for my friends' photos too. Like, uh, I was like, yeah, I, I can shoot for you, I can edit it, just don't credit me. So it's just, you know, it's yours. Do whatever you want, you know? Have fun. They keep crediting me though. <laughs> I'm like, no, <laughs> don't, <laughs> that's, <laughs> yeah. Sometimes like, as a rule, like, yes, you can use this as long as you don't credit me. But there were still times they still did like, God dang it, what did I say? <laughs> Mm-hmm.
Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Especially the easy ones, yeah. So as, for me, it's a few click of a buttons. I have been editing for over 20 years. Me editing photos is going to be, not say going to be better, but most likely it's more easier for me than someone who has never touched Photoshop before. So it'd be much more like, yeah, like realistically, logically speaking, it'd be much more efficient. I love efficiency. It's so much efficient. You just let me do it. And, you know, I mean, not that I will need to ask you a favor in the future, but like if I have a problem with like, let's say, I need someone to sew my button that came off. i will be like, hey, can you help me out? Because you already have sewing kits. You know how to do this. For me, it would take me go to the supermarket or whatever to buy a sewing kits and then figure out how to sew and all this stuff. Yeah, it'll be a headache for me. Like I can do it. You can edit it. It'll, it'll, you can do it, but it'll take you much longer and maybe not the best desired effect for rather than give it to someone two minutes. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we're all stuck inside. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm, -hmm. mm, -hmm. mm, -hmm. mm, -hmm. mm -hmm. I'm wearing pajamas. <laughs> yeah. I like streaming because I get to express myself more. Uh, especially for me, because at least for my con, it's really weird. And I've, I've been talking about this too. In such a, it sounds such a great thing because that's what most content creators want. People like my content because of my content, not because of me. You know, that sounds great on paper. It's like, oh, they don't care about who you are, but they care about what you make. But then at the same time, they really don't care about me. So that's the whole downside about it. You know, they care about my photos, my models in the photos. But then when it's me, it's very different. So again, it confused them. You know, they follow my accounts to look at pretty girls, but then it confused them when sometimes I post my own photos, something I'm talking about my life. I'm doing more. So I'm doing a lot more. I'm streaming. I'm doing more story in my April Fools that I even took a picture of myself again, or like I have uh, my housemate help me, but it's a picture of myself. I had to shave my legs for that. <laughs> mm hmm. Yeah. And I get to be more real because I can explain my eyes because I, I cannot explain enough on Instagram or like on Twitter just to like word count. And I can't have that conversation saying like, this is how I see things. That's how I'm realist about certain things. It would sound maybe really bad on paper, on text, but it make more sense if I actually able to articulate it. Mm, mm -hmm. Oh, Sam. How dare you? <laughs> mm hmm Yeah. It, it makes yourself love yourself more too. When you post more about yourself because you're more accepting of this is what I like. Mm hmm mm hmm Growing up, we know that really well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. I tried around both. I've done both, you know, because... Uh... Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Like, because, like... For most people, they don't have enough power to change demand. You know, if you can change demand, then yes, you can do whatever you want. And I have conversation with some big cosplayer or influencer where they're like, they always say like, oh, just be yourself. It doesn't work like that for most people because they, it's lucky for some people who they are is what people like. 
but that's not the same for everyone. So sometimes you do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. So I would do the things where I'm like, oh, look at this weird thing that you like a lot. That's cool, right? Now check out these other things that I like a lot, you know? Yeah. Mm hmm. What about Gundam? Is it popular for people, for you? Like, what? <laughs> you love Gundam so much. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> Do you do the painting as well? That's the hard part, I feel like. I feel like the whole, yeah. Mm hmm Cause it makes it so much cooler, the painting and the airbrush. Mm hmm When we can hang out again, can I come by so can we do some photos of it? I have seen some really cool, like some really cool, like, you know, hyper-realistic, like, Blue. Yeah. Yeah, so, but like I've seen some very cool like toy photographies. So I want to try some with uh, some of the Gundams, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, especially in America. Yeah. Oh yeah, I see all the time. <laughs> I think it's fun. Yeah. Oh, I'm glad, I'm glad. So yeah, so right now you're still doing mostly Gundam building stream, gaming stream, uh, anything else? Like, do you do like, I guess, yeah, sure. <laughs> uh-huh. Mm, mm, mm. Only fans, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm Oh, wow. <clears throat> That's super cool. Mm, of course. Mm -hmm. It's tricky. There there was a few, yeah, there was a few gigs that I was supposed to do as well. I was supposed to do a shoot with a eSport team, the new apparel line. Uh, I was supposed to work with uh, in our company to build a whole new desktop. Which I really desperately knew. My desktop is like ten years old. Um, so, but then, like you know, because of this, you now things is kind of like locked down. Yeah, it's definitely tough. So we'll see. Yeah. So yeah. Well, I'm glad that you know we we're able to do this. This is what I'm doing now, and I enjoy it a lot because I get get to talk to people for real. You know. Yeah. <laughs> Mm -hmm. it's, I mean, it's a big part of our life, big part of our identity, and it, it, it's something we have to go through. So it's it, I, it's hard to share that too. So it's glad I'm glad to have someone to share with, and they kind of have the same experience, you know. 
Because people don't bring it up, you know. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, it was not easy. Correct. It, yeah. It was, again, yeah. Yep. Uh, uh, yeah. I was talking to Jimmy, same thing. It's like, it, now, I'm not saying now it's cool, but it was super uncool. Now just okay. It was so uncool. Yeah. Oh, one of the, one of the thing that really stuck with me was that I was, uh, I first moved to America. So I went to a, um, a, Pri ed sorry, ed elementary? Yeah, elementary school. I think it was at the end of elementary school. But anyway, the point was, I made some friends uh, in the same, because uh, I in America, you all kind of live in the same area to go to the same school, right? So I live in the apartments. There's some of the kids are also living in the apartments that go to the same school. Um, they would pick on me in school, but then we'll be friends when we're in the apartment complex because it's not cool to be friends with me in school. But I was really happy about they were still being friends with me in the apartments. But like, that, it's so bad. That was really bad. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Yay, finally. Like, we're... Wait. Yep. <laughs> it's just a weird... Yeah. Uh, I, have an, I have a knife with me at all time, and luckily I haven't had to use it yet. But it's just... And it's both for you. It's multiple things for you. It's both being Asian and being a internet persona, a woman as well. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Cause there are. There are people that, you know, uh, unfortunately, they have mental disorder, you know, they're born with it, you know, it's not, it's not their fault, but it's how they're born with and they would maybe have some obsession over a certain idea, and they can spend all their time and energy to hurt someone because they can. Mm hmm. Mm, 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 mm. I have a uh, Mac Turney on the show next week. Someone actually broke into her house and tried to shoot her in the face. That was scary too. And she didn't even tell us about it until like afterward too, until the news broke out. But I was like, I haven't heard her for like a month, you know? And then suddenly, oh, that's why she was being quiet. Yeah. That's a, that's a scary. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yep. Mm hmm. Yep. 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 Yeah. I'm being. I, I'm trying to be very private as well. Anything that I would usually say is already public information. So that's the things that you know about me. But other than that, it's mostly kind of nobody knows. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I'm, I'm just so cautious. <laughs> oh, yeah, they should be. Yeah. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, this has been great. How can people find you?
How did you even get that name in there? I mean, I know you like vampire stuff. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> no, I think it's cute. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> no, but it did. I think it's great. I don't know. It really stand out too. Yeah. And would you have picked something else? Would it be what more close to your name? I don't think it's maybe because maybe because how you got it was silly. <laughs> No, I think it's cute. <laughs> it makes sense for Vampy as well. So yeah, it's great. All right. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. Uh, it has been great. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It, it, I mean, it's great. That's the kind of conversation I want to have. It's go from one to the other very s s smoothly. It's just like, oh, what have we been talking about? <laughs> It's like a therapy session, actually. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, I love to talk about it. So, you know, anyway. Yeah, thanks everyone for watching. You can watch this also later on YouTube, listen to it on uh, Spotify or iTunes or anywhere else. Uh, thanks for all the follow and sub. And we're going to have the show every Tuesday to Thursday right now for 7 p.m. So uh, making sure you come by again tomorrow and catch us. Tomorrow we have, who do we have tomorrow? Let me think. I do, yes. Trish, Trish is great. I will, I will for sure. I will do that as well. It's weird because sometimes there's lots of people that we feel like we know, but we don't remember you. We have met them because we do so many things. Mm -hmm. Let's wait, wait till quarantine over. My friend was saying that like maybe on my hundredth episode, we, I should just bring a bunch of different guests from different industries that kind of know each other. And it's like, let's all hang out and talk together. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. We can do like a hangout kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. Maybe not even a hundred because we're on what 20. So let's just do like maybe 50, the 50th episode. It's like, Hey, let's do a uh, every gathering. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, thank you everyone for watching. I will see you all later.